I'm Wally Amos. Read It Loud is a foundation that creates awareness about the benefits, the values, and the importance of parents, adults, reading aloud to children from birth to age six for at least 10 minutes a day. If you do that, you will have a reader. The idea is not just to learn to read, but to have a thirst for words, a love for reading. Reading aloud works. It's been working for generations, and it works today. Read it loud! Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. The rabbit and the turtle, uh, adapted from Aesop's Fables, and the stories are retold and illustrated by Eric Carle. Eric Carle is a very, very famous illustrator and uh, writer of children's books. The rabbit and the turtle. So I'm going to show you guys the illustration. Remember this illustration. I'll show it to you again when we finish the story. A rabbit and a turtle were looking for something to do to while away the afternoon. When you while away, you, just, you, you, you kind of make the time go slower, just, just to spend the afternoon as um, things cruise by. How about a race, suggested the rabbit, who was a very fast runner. Could we do something else, asked the turtle, who was not. You're just afraid that you're going to lose, said the rabbit. I am not, declared the turtle. So it was decided to have a race. They asked Mr. Fox to be the judge, and off they went. The rabbit, with his long legs, sped down the path so fast he seemed to be flying. But the turtle, with his short legs and his heavy shell, had a hard time moving at all. So the rabbit was so far ahead, he decided to sit down for a little rest. After a long, long, long time, the turtle slowly passed the rabbit. What's the matter? You giving up? Asked the turtle. Uh, don't worry, said the rabbit and waved. Just go on. I'll soon catch up with you. The turtle waved back and he plodded on, huffing and puffing. It was a beautiful afternoon. The sun was warm. The birds sang on their kazoo. Butterflies and ladybugs flew through the air. A gentle wind bent the grass and the flowers. Soon the rabbit sank into a deep sleep. <laughs> when he woke up, the moon and the stars shone in the sky. Oh, well, said the rabbit, I must, must catch up with the slow poke turtle. He brushed himself off and ran after the turtle. But when the rabbit came around the last bend of the road, he saw the fox pinning a winning medal on the turtle's chest. Slow and steady has won many races, said Mr. Fox. <laughs> so sometimes, boys and girls, you hurry and you're doing everything, and you think you're the fastest, and you think you're going to win everybody, and, and you get way later, you get sidetracked. And you don't really pay attention to what's going on. Oftentimes when we have a job, when you have an assignment, you have a chore to do, a chore at home, and you just rush, but you don't do it well, and then your mommy and your dad get angry. So it's best to take your time and do it right. Because the big idea says slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady gets the job done every single time. Okay, so where are you going to go? 
slow and steady. Thanks for reading, guys. Thanks for being a great audience. Bye-bye. <laughs>